Hi guys, welcome to Amelia B's Crafting Adventures. I'm just checking in to make sure you didn't think I was ignoring you. Yeah, no, 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 I haven't been. As you guys knew, I I was sick. I actually, I actually brushed my hair for y'all. It's a, a big accomplishment. I haven't been ignoring you. As you know, I had been sick. I had the thing we're not supposed to talk about. And and then I got another, you know, illness, which I, I'm just about through that. And I was really excited because I was going to do the Withering Cottage with, with Ariana on Tuesday night, last Tuesday night. And, um, the, and I made things. Let me show you some of the things I made, or at least a thing I made. I made some noisemakers. That's punch needle. I don't know if you can see. And then I added some really beautiful silk ribbon and bells and, you know, things. And I was excited to bring those. And the day before, I went boom. You ready? I don't know. I went, I, I, I went boom. <laughs> I went boom. I hurt my shoulder. I actually hit my face, but my face, you know, I don't think it got hurt, but if it got swollen, it's okay because it hides all those little lines that I'm so happy about. But I went boom. Yeah. So that being said, on Tuesday, <laughs> I was on painkillers and um, I don't, I, I don't think any of you would have wanted to participate with me <laughs> being on painkillers. It could have been fun. It might have been interesting, but I just thought it was probably a safer bet for me not to get into a vehicle and drive and be in front of all of the friends and, you know, say really ridiculous things. Though I've been known to say ridiculous things, even if I'm, I'm not on painkillers. But that's besides the point. Yeah, I fell. It's not broken. It's just, you know, going to take a few minutes. <laughs> it's just going to take a few minutes. The first thing I did after I went boom was um, I was, I went, I went to urgent care, you know, because I was I, pretty sure it was broken. But thankfully, it, it, it wasn't broken. Oh, my hair. I'm sorry. I'm trying, you know, blow drying and doing all the things is tricky um and they did x-rays and um i am in a brace I, I i do wear the brace but it it seems to make it get uh more swollen so i i try not to wear it and just be really careful um but i had been crafting when i had the thing we're not supposed to talk about in the other illness it's just now i'm losing my mind a little bit i'm so bored i'm just so bored so I've been listening to books and I've been watching, you know, documentaries and learning how to cook Japanese food and, um, you know, just watching things and being out of my mind a little bit, just out of pure boredom. I'm not used to that. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. Amelia B's Crafting Adventures is actually really adventurous, but not in the way I anticipated. Go figure. Um, a few things did happen before I went boom. I'd like to show you. I have to shut this off and then turn it back on because it's just, just the way this uh, camera function is. Mm -hmm. So hold on and I'll show you. So this is a new sink and the new faucet. I'm really happy. I love the sink. I still need to put the knobbies on. And then this is, you like my dishes? This is the new countertop. I'm really quite happy. And then I think that I have shown you the light fixture. Oh, is that that dirt or dust? I don't know. I need to clean it. It'll wait. And then I have another light fixture that's going to go there. And then this is the, the, the table and the floor. The new floor is basically going to be very similar to, to this tabletop. So everything there is absolutely coming together and I'm, I'm very happy. I'm also putting in um, two holes in the sink. I am not putting two holes in the sink. Someone is putting in 
one of my bestest friends ever in the whole entire world is putting a hole in the sink for a sprayer and for the water filter. And then um, that'll be good. Normally I have that soap and stuff under the sink, but it's just a little more convenient right now to have it where it is. So I'm, I'm excited, you know, I mean, it's, it's coming together. You know, it's gonna be what I'm hoping it'll be. I had to do some touch-up painting on the, the back wall. Um, I, I was thinking about putting, um, you know, what do they call that? A, I don't know, but I've decided not to. So there's that. Now hold on. Now here's, some, now here's something else I wanna show you. This is my gas fireplace that I got. And this was something that was absolutely on my list. Um, this was important to me. Um, as I had said in the past, my roads are a little bit curvy. I'm in the country, and if I lose power, I just want to be able to have a heat source. Everything else is easy, you know, but just not being cold was something I wanted. I also have a generator, so I'm happy about that. And then over here, I want to show you this. This is, um, this was gifted to me. This is a a uh, very, very dear friend of mine gifted me this beautiful, I want to call it gothic. I, I'm thinking you guys might have better smartness terminologies. Look at that. This is just not beautiful. I saw it. It holds all my treasures. And I did have another china cabinet in here, um, which was Edwardian. And what I did with that, hold on. So this room here is sort of a work in progress. Um, I, I haven't completed it yet. It is my library, tiny human's toy room, um, a, a, an office, so to speak. I'm going to put the printer and all that kind of thing in here. But I want to show you what I did with the other um, china cabinet. I turned it into a really beautiful bookcase. And I'm so happy about it. It's very big and it holds a lot of my books. And I'm very excited about it. Hold on. So those are just some of the things that have been going on. I, you know, everything is in limbo. Now with that, with the Edwardian China cabinet, I plan on making it really cute, but right now it just, just got the books in it because, you know, everything uh, happened with the fall and, and, and I've had to put a lot of stuff on hold. I was getting ready to go into the, uh, the art studio too and get that going, but everything just has to wait. I cannot believe that I am actually doing a video with my hair looking so rough that I think my hair is gonna just look rough for a while. It was just the way it is. I just wanna let you all know, I really am okay. I, I, I spend a little bit of time giggling at myself you know, just, I'm clumsy. I'm, I'm just clumsy. I, I did buy my non-slip shoes and threw my other shoes away. I didn't even donate them. I didn't want anybody else to fall. Um, <laughs> so I threw them out. I uh, threw them out, got, got a couple of pairs of shoes that are non-slip, and um, I'm just waiting. You know, I'm just, I'm just waiting. I don't, I'm, I'm hoping this won't take too long to heal. I, you can see here a little bit of the bruising on my face. Um, I'm actually extremely fortunate. I mean, really, I'm incredibly fortunate. I think um, one of the things that's been going through my mind, um, you know, what, when I talk about these things that I'm going through is that I think a, a, a lot of my friends here you know, are of a similar age, you know, and it's like, um, hopefully my crazy antics in life, you know, the things that I've been through this year, I mean, this has been, <laughs> you know, quite, quite the year, um, you know, or, or maybe just through the antics, you're getting some ideas of things that you can do to make sure that you're okay in your, your own homes. You know, um, I was talking to a friend yesterday. She removed all her throw rugs because she slipped, you know. And, and as I said, I, I'm not 96, 97 years old, but a, a, apparently <laughs> I, I need to think about things a little better, you know, so I don't end up you know, really, really hurting myself, you know, and also the, the, the fire, 
the uh, gas fireplace just being able to make sure that I have heat if I need it and uh, you know getting that generator too you know to keep the food that I have in the house good if I lose power um, you know I have oil lamps I have some beautiful oil lamps um, MJ Bear gifted me with what I think is one of the most beautiful oil lamps I've ever seen in my life I have not held it in person yet I cried I always cry um, when people think of me I, I just do I you know like I said it's been quite a year and been quite a few years but but I, I was so honored and touched and felt so loved by MJ thank you so much MJ um, next month I'm hoping I'll be able to do some actual crafting videos at some time between now and Thanksgiving. Um, but I am going on an adventure. Um, I'm going on an adventure and I am going to take you with me. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous. Um, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I. I'm trying to talk myself out of the being nervous thing and, you know, just trying to get it together so I can just do this big adventure, which I'll share more about later and uh, take you out with me a little bit and, um, you know, I'm, I, and live my life, right? W without illness, injury, clumsiness, with enthusiasm, y'all, with enthusiasm. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I love you all. I miss you all. I'm trying really hard and I will see you soon. And I will be on the Withering Cottage next Tuesday night, 7.30 Eastern time on the YouTube. You guys, I promise you, you be careful out there. Be careful. Bye.